Environment is not the condition or surrounding near the Salesforce San Francisco building, but an instance of Force.com platform. It is just an account which gives you private access to the Force.com cloud computing environment. Environments are also called as organizations or orgs. These environments are broadly classified into three categories. First, production environment. Second, development environment. Third, testing environment. Now let's get started with the production environment. Production environments are the environments having active paying users accessing business critical data which first of all clearly defines that it's not for free. You have to pay to use this environment and these environments are used by businesses or organizations to store their critical data or run their business using the applications into it. There are multiple editions of these environments which organizations can choose according to their requirements. You can check the link down in the description to get a full detail about these editions. Users or developers can use point and click tools in production environment to customize it or to create a new app or feature into it. But to write an Apex class, they do need other environments because it's not allowed here. Though Salesforce always recommends to use another environment to create a new app. The second type of Salesforce environments are development environments which are typically used to extend, integrate, develop and test on Force.com without affecting the production environment. This is the place where developers spend most of their time at. And you know why? Because they just love it. Development environment is again divided into three parts. First is developer edition, second is partner developer edition, third is sandbox. Developer edition is a free fully featured identical copy of Salesforce having no relation with any other org. It is ideal to use for initial development of an app and it does have some limits to number of users and storage so that organizations cannot use it for free. And you know what? You can sign up for as many developer editions as you want because there is no limit on it. The second type of development environment is partner developer edition which is similar to developer edition but has more storage, user licenses and features into it as compared to the developer edition. And it is ideal to use when large development teams having more than two developers will work to create a commercially available app. The third type of development environment is Sandbox which is an identical copy of Salesforce production environment. It can include data and customizations or both from the production environment. Just like this. Customizations here means the metadata, setup data or configurations. The major benefit of Sandbox is that the operation we perform on Sandbox does not affect the production environment and vice versa. And one more thing, Sandbox always has the same number of user licenses as of the production environment. Sandbox is again divided into four subtypes that are full copy Sandbox, partial copy Sandbox, developer Sandbox and developer pro Sandbox. The first type of sandbox environment is full copy sandbox which is an exact replica of production environment. It contains all the data and customizations from the production org and this can be used for final staging of an app or a feature before deploying it to the production. Not only it will help you test the app or a feature but also the deployment procedure. The second type of sandbox is partial copy sandbox which includes a copy of all the customizations and only a sample data from production that can be used for testing. This type of sandbox is majorly used for integration testing and user training. The third type of sandbox is developer sandbox which includes a copy of all the customizations but no data from production. Hence, it can be considered as a place to work on solutions of your new requirements. The main motive behind this sandbox is to keep your random experimentation out of the full sandbox and also it is limited to 200 MB of sample or test data which is sufficient for many development and testing tasks. The fourth type of sandbox is developer Pro Sandbox which is developer sandbox only having more storage. It can store up to 1 GB data and it is majorly used for development and quality assurance tasks. So that's all about sandboxes and development environments. Now let's get to the third type of Salesforce environment and that is testing environment. Both production and development environments can be used for testing purposes but if they do not fulfill the needs then there is a partner test edition which is a large test environment available for customers, developers and partners which can solve the purpose. 
Now that's all about Salesforce environments. If you want to check how much you have learned from this video, go down to the description. There are questions. You can answer those questions into the comments. I like your comment if your answer is correct. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel or like this page on Facebook to master Salesforce with the Salesforce Hull. So see you next week. Until then, bye bye. Take care.